Hey guys, Jazz the Game here, back with another Rival Kingdoms tutorial, and today we are going to discuss the nature agent called Lupita. As always, we're going to discuss the powers that comes with Lupita, the ascension materials, and the astral stone that go along with Lupita. The first power is called Frenzy. What Frenzy will do is that all affected troops will gain a 35% attack bonus and regenerate health for a set period of time. If an affected troop destroys a structure, then the effect is refreshed for all of your troops. The second power is called Stare Down. What Stare Down will do, it will cause damage to a targeted defense for a set period of time. And if that building is destroyed, then it will refund two additional mana to you. Also, only one target can be affected by Stare Down, and if you recast Stare Down on a different building, it will end the existing effect. The third and final power is called Lycanthropy. What this power will do is that after 30 seconds, affected troops are infused with the power of the wolf, causing them to heal and gain 35% increased damage mitigation and lifesteal for the remainder of the battle. Ascension materials required to increase the rarity of Lupita is the first one is called Full Moon Pendant, which will increase the rarity from rare to epic. Next is Blood Moon Pendant, which will take you from epic to legendary. And then Dark Moon Pendant will take you from legendary to mythic. Now for Astral Gear, you can equip Lupita's Memento or Healer's Scroll to help you make your powers a little bit more powerful during the battle. Now, let's talk about the troop composition. With the healing ability of the first power and the ability to refresh once the buildings are destroyed, you can put just about any troop you want out there. The one troop that I recommend that you put out there are Mana Hunters, because you're going to want a lot of Mana Hunters to cast your second and your third ability when appropriate. The only downside to Lupita is the first ability, which will heal your troops over and over again called Frenzy. If you run into a spell tower with curse attached to it, your troops will no longer be able to heal themselves, although you will see the animation effect take place every time they destroy a building. Now your third power lycanthropy will counter the curse spell towers because it has life steal attached to it and also increased damage mitigation. Another tip is that you want to make sure your troops are in the best position before you apply the first power called Frenzy because if your troops are not within distance to destroy a building, your time before the refresh will run out and that ability is useless. You want to make sure that there aren't any barriers such as walls that are in the way because they will not refresh that power if it if they destroy walls or buildings that don't create mana. Now the battle that you see on the screen right now is what the first power frenzy looks like as it is refreshed throughout the battle. You'll see a bright lightning blue glow around your troops as they destroy the buildings. When I use the second power called stare down, I like to place it on spell towers with curse, freeze, or I like to place it on the catapults or the arrow launchers. I hope you guys enjoyed this brief tutorial on Lupita, an explanation of the powers, the true composition, and how to place those powers during battle. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, adios.